Hello everyone, this is Scott Lowe at GDC 2014 and I am here to show you the Oculus Rift Dev Kit 2. So if you remember, the Dev Kit is the actual version of the Oculus that you can buy, uh, but this is now the next iteration of that and builds a lot of uh, on, upon the prototypes we saw earlier this year at CES 2014. So uh, the big difference here is uh, the quality of the display, the low persistence tracking, and the inclusion of a built uh, additional camera. So you uh, set it up with your PC uh, and position it in front of your TV or wherever you're sitting, and you can uh, get positional tracking. So the big difference there is when you lean in or look around in a world, it will track your motion rather than having to do it through a gamepad. So you can literally not use anything else but the Oculus to look around in the world. You don't need a controller. Obviously, if you want to move uh, in terms of moving your character around, that's a different story. So in terms of design, uh, obviously the high resolution display is involved, it's now OLED, uh, it has a few changes to the ports on top, they actually have a USB port, which uh, they are like basically opening up to developers so they can hack stuff on, so if they want to add uh, additional attachments or peripherals, they can do that. There's also a mystery port, with their, which they're not talking about, uh, but it will also kind of factor into that. And then, uh, you know, one of the big differences between this and the Crystal Cove is the absence of the LED trackers that were all over the in front of it. So it's actually, they're still there, but they're housed underneath this plastic shell on the outside. So they're invisible to the user, uh, but they're still transmitting data to the camera. So the big stuff here is that it's actually shipping uh, in July for $350, only $50 more than the original dev kit, uh, and it's available for pre-order now, Wednesday the 19th. So you can order it now and get it in July. So uh, that's it for the dev kit too. Obviously, we'll have more hands-on impressions as you know we get more access to it and it starts shipping. Uh, so for all things, virtual reality and game developers conference stay tuned to ign.com